Hello everybody again on Simplifodia YouTube channel. Today we will continue with the explanation of the hazards. We will start with the physical hazard. First of all, we must know that there is four types of possible sources of physical hazard in food. First one was the product origin. Number two, the people origin. Number three, the site origin. And number four, the premises origin. Today we will only explain number one the product origin the product origin as a, as a possible sources of physical hazard in food one slash four because I have mentioned that there is four types let's start understanding this point the plant origin as natural constituents of the food itself like lemon shell and producing or in preparing lemon juice orange shell while preparing orange juice also potato shell while preparing fried potato okay garlic shell also while cooking maybe the shell uh, of the garlic fall accidentally accidentally fall uh, and uh, uh, on our product okay egg shell uh, if we are preparing cake in our homes so one of the critical issues that you want to while taking a small bite of cake piece you find some eggshell and it is very uh, annoying for eating cakes so it's a physical hazard okay so we must take care this is in home but later on we'll uh, uh, make or explain how the food industries as usual can guarantee themselves from uh, contamination of eggshell in even uh, prepared pasteurized egg or prepared albumin egg okay there's also an example of the onion shell onion shell also as a physical hazard green onion roots because it's not eating it's scrapped it's trimmed from the plant itself and from the sorry vegetable itself and trimmed away also the tomato green leaves this is only just an example to make uh, your mind understand what actually the meaning of the plant origin so let's go to the not only the fruits and vegetables uh, so let's go to the other uh, industries as meat industry so natural constituents of the food itself in meat industry like animals small or broken bones or hair in processed meat for example this bone may accidentally fall in processed meat while processing so there must be controls we will explain it later on the hair may also may also accidentally fall in processed meat like burger you can imagine while eating or taking a bite from your burger sandwich and you find a piece or find the hair so it is very uh, bad uh, issue for any consumer so there must be controls and we will explain it later on what are the controls of each physical hazard and each hazard in the food industry to another industry there is the poultry poultry industry poultry industry may be similar to meat but uh, there is addition of beaks and feather and uh, also some maybe drippings or some other things but the major was bones beaks feather from the chicken while processing it to nuggets or to fried or boiled chicken so there must be control measures for all this physical hazard which is naturally constituents of the food itself we have mentioned the meat industry have mentioned the poultry industry there's the third part was the fish industry fish industry there is also bones there is fins and there is scales and some issues there is eyes some complaint from the internet you can read that they have found in canned tuna have found the eye and there is in pictures on internet for that okay but I, I can't mention it on my presentation according to copyright claims so let's continue on fish bones also bones fish bones and scales maybe accidentally you can find while you are eating your processed or canned fish tuna or what else type of fish it's also enough to find any bones or any uh, fins or any scales so it's a 
physical hazard with its naturally constituents of the food itself. There is another issues or there is another objects maybe accidentally like pest. Pest is very critical to any food industry like house flies and fruit flies. This is in our homes even also, not even in a food industry, also in our homes. If there is any flies, if there is any kind of mosquitoes, any kind of insects which can fly, which can carry microorganisms from a place to a clean place or to a clean food, uh, unclean surface with uh, contamination to another clean surface or another food surface. So it's um, the pest forms two kind of hazard may under two, the two categories, the physical hazard and the biological hazard. Another type of pest may be insects as moth. The moth was very important in chocolate manufacturing because the worm become uh, later on become a moth. So there must may be a complaints from chocolate manufacturing that some customers are opening a chocolate bar and they found the moth inside with some kind of uh, spider nest like uh, residues and the bar. So one of the m most reasons in this uh, uh, issues was the worm of this moth in the nuts which is in chocolate or even in the cocoa powder uh, itself from the unapproved supplier and all these details will explain it later on on Simply for the channel. Okay the moth and flies another best another pest was ants, flower beetles, grain pest, bees, biscuit beetles. In any industry of food we must understand what kind of insect or what kind of pest may invade our premises. For example in biscuit industry we must focus on flower beetles and biscuit beetles. In grain industry we must focus on grain beetles. In sugar industry we must focus on ants. In honey industry or any sweet industry any candies we also must focus on ants and bees so there must be controls on all these issues by pest contractor we will also explain later on what are the preventive uh, pest control uh, techniques uh, what's the meaning of uh, traps what kinds of rodents but the rodents also from the pest but uh, we'll take it uh, later on. Let's talk now about the bugs and worms also. The bugs and worms are pests to our site and to our food processed, as you can see in the photos. Okay, sorry for the unknown photos, but it's a fact. So there must be controls for all this issues maybe the bug from the farm or maybe the bug uh, from uh, rotten fruit or rotten vegetable to uh, fine vegetable and it's like an uh, infestation between bad food to good food okay small bugs now rodents the rodents are very very critical problem even in our homes, even our kitchen, even our restaurants, even our food industry, pharmaceutical industry, uh, any producing of food grade contacts, the rodents, you know all the relation between rodents and plague, uh, epidemic disease. So it's a very, very critical to any uh, ready to eat industry or any food industry. Also the rodent residues like droppings and hair must always be a, a signal for any rodent activity so if there's any droppings there is a definition because there is a different kinds of rodents and we can identify them from the different kind of droppings so the pest control technicians actually study this all kind of the droppings to differentiate what kind of rodent are present if it is small if it is big if it is a, a desert from desert if it is from house there's a different types okay also dropping 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 and also sorry again for the annoying picture but it affects the droppings of the rodents and their hair may be a physical hazard uh, based on our food which is 
not naturally origin but it may be on the plant uh, we are eating so it's in a plant origin from the origin of the uh, food we took or from our suppliers non approved some another droppings okay the bird feeders are very very critical also because the bird feeders and the bird uh, droppings also a very 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 critical carrier to salmonella which causes food poisoning and we will make a special video on salmonella later on biological hazard because we will explain each biological hazard each biological hazard okay so the bird droppings and the bird feathers there must be controls there must be closed windows they avoid any birds to make nest uh, near our food processing areas okay the last thing which is maybe accidentally added was soil particles and the small rocks on our food finally thank you very much for viewing our simply for the uh, youtube channel don't forget to like and share and subscribe our channel to receive the new informations about every physical chemical biological hazards in our